Game two, the second semifinal here with the Owens Gordon preseason NIT from Madison Square Garden in New York City. Basketball royalty, the Kansas Jayhawks and the North Carolina Tar Heels. I believe they got the best starting five in the nation. If they can develop some bench strength from 6 to 11, they are certainly going to be a team to reckon with. Elementary school days is high school days. The same with Collison. They were really well drilled before they arrived at Kansas. McCants open, ties the game. He can shoot the long range shot. Oh, he's going to like this defender. Hasn't shot the ball well early in his career, but he is a big time performer. Everybody I talk to raves about him. Oh, oh jam by McCants. Hello, Mr. McCants says, bring on the best in America. I fear not. They're going to love him in Chapel Hill. Here comes Felton after the turnover. Look Pushing it. Look at that speed. Hello. They're going to love these Dunkin' and Dundies. I'll tell you, they'll be rocking on Tobacco Road. I'm telling you, one tough player. I tell you, North Carolina really fills the lane and the penetration ability allows. What a great starting five. Langford is now 18 for 20. Wow. Shooting the ball this season. Kansas with a couple of lopsided rings over Holy Cross. He doesn't know quite how much he can expect from his bench this year. Here's Heinrich. Here's Miles. And it's blocked. What a play by Jackie Manuel. In Carolina maybe a little bit deeper than Kansas. Well, I don't know. You know, I think the Kansas back bench is going to be a lot better than people believe. I really do. But the season, and Sean May will tell you right up and down that he wanted to get his own little identity. By going to North Carolina, that can happen for him. A two-point lead. Not anymore. McCann strong to the bucket again. Michigan State and Villanova. Oh, Oklahoma State up there. I didn't realize they were up there as well. Wyoming also up there. Always a great tournament in Anchorage. Folks put on a great show there, just like they do here in New York and in Maui as well. Jawad Williams and Carolina leads. Finishing number one, two, and three in the conference. You're talking about 31 years in a row, winning 20 or more games, 27 years in a row in the NCAA. There's the strip. Scott tries to take it all away. Miles got it. Felton puts it home. Boy, Carolina fortunate. Scott moving off the ball more now that Felton has arrived in Chapel Hill. Nice Williams got it. We ain't that baby. The orchestra leader, the maestro man. Jayhawks on the run. Well, Will Johnson gives him some experience. Miles with a pull up. Follow no good. Now the numbers for the Tar Heels led by Melvin Scott. Pull up from 15 and he got it. Melvin Scott got a lot of experience last year, a lot of valuable time. He was too good, so they put him in with the eighth graders, and then the ninth, and they got all the way up to high school seniors, and he was still holding his own. And Roy Williams told us today, he said, okay, where's mom and dad? Kansas philosophy. And he's the backup for both of the big guys, for Simeon and Collison, so he's going to get his minutes. Whoa, what a nice lay in underneath the basket by McCants. The fans are going to have so much to be excited about following these young kids, but they're going to have to understand they're going to be a little patient with him as well. Here's McCants again. Oh, he is going to be special, my friends. Gonna watch the denial. Look at a great denial. Steps into the passing lane, and then he explodes and finishes. Mm. You can see he just loves to play. And he's wearing 32 because it's the reverse of Michael's number, 23. Well, hey, how would you like to have, I'll give you five guys in the NBA, Jordan Stackhouse, Wallace Carter, and Jameson. Not how bad. would you like to have those five? <laughs> look at the hustle, and look at the emotion on that Carolina bench right now. Really loves Aaron Miles, but that team was 34-2. and two. They lost a heartbreaker to Arizona, who went on to win the national title. Manual on the feed from Scott. There's the backdoor cup. Incredibly dominant in the month of November. Get this. And they play a tough schedule. Kansas has won 42 of its last 43 games in November. Wow. Jawan Williams with the gimme. And the only loss. Trying to spread the court. Trying to capitalize on their ability to go one-on-one. -on -one, beat some people off the dribble, especially with McCann. Tough look for a three. And Scott knocks it down. He's got the field tonight. Well, Carolina's got some agile athletes in this game. I like that. Agile. Mobile. Yeah, they are. Agile. Even the big guy. He's got hands. Hasn't been getting many touches inside. Jawad Williams, we forget about those super solid. Yep. Here's Scott again. He's being pressured by Hawkins. Scott with the pull up. Wow! He's making that shot, man. He's feeling it. He's feeling it. And he makes the steal. North Carolina, could this be Shot City today? Shot the ball four times in the first half. He was two for four. Williams bringing him out to the outside. See how the perimeter opening up for the backdoor cut. 
There's the spread. No help from the weak side. And introduced himself and realized he's one of the premier baseline players in America. Well, they had an easy look for Miles in the first half. Now May gets free. Somebody missed an assignment. Layups as I've seen here tonight. And I know Roy cannot be pleased with their defensive effort. Another turnover. Manuel. Felton. Oh, yes. That's Mr. Felton. They're going to need a timeout, baby. Because they are meeting a heck of a challenge here by this young North Carolina team. And again, this young team led by the three freshman starters. There's one of them, May, with another jumper. Sean May said just a few days ago. They've already turned a nine point halftime lead into a 15 point lead and they've hit all four of their shots here in the second half. May the offensive rebound too easy inside. He needs a timeout baby they need a timeout they got to regroup. Opposed one another as head coaches of course friends. Now Roy Williams recruited Matt Doherty to North Carolina. Matt Doherty says Roy Williams is like a big brother to me. McCants gets the roll. He said in the soundbite we played earlier, they're going to run all the time because they obviously feel they're quicker than other teams, and other teams will take possessions off every now and again. Carolina hasn't done that tonight. This guy doesn't look like he ever takes any of the right. He really is. I think they're a sleeping giant in the Big East. They're a dangerous team yeah. with Coleman and the big guy inside. 17 turnovers now, by the way, for Kansas. Felton from the free throw line. Once he starts heating up, point guard I've watched in college basketball. And then you talk about the quickness, explosiveness of Kenny Smith. Right out of New York. Tip is good. It's all North Carolina. He's won better than 80% of his games in 14 years at Kansas. I love Raymond Felton. I'll tell you one thing. I watch about two, three minutes of him, and I see stardom all over his game as well. Gerard Williams. Get the ball inside to Collison. Get him some touches. Miles, no. And underneath, a rejection by May. ESPN 2. And it's hard to believe, and the consolation will be Kansas and Florida. So oh. oh. strong. Oh, boy. Another block. Manuel is a terrific defensive player. Reflection of the coach. He's got to do the things the coach wants, and he's got to be the catalyst to make things happen. Oh, look at this right here. Manuel again. Yep. He says, you may be all American, my friend, but tonight it belongs to me. Program a lift, and it was a positive to get here. But they want more than just a visit to New York now. They want that gold trophy, man. There's the ball. Also in. There's the ball. There it goes. That's now my he can son. relax. Yeah. That's my boy. My That's son's my the boy. coach. I tell you, he took so much heat last year. You got to feel good for him. I mean, he went through a lot of pain. This is beautiful life. Kelly's going to be a cloud nine. There's the great handshake. Roy Williams to Matt. So I'm congratulating him. And I know he feels indebted to Roy for all that he learned about the game of basketball.